You can move to the presidential address. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this chance. For giving me this chance to debate. Order, honorable members. On the as order. Presidential. As order, as I earlier guided, running commentaries are not allowed. Let's observe the doc decorum of this honorable house. If you have to consult, please do that quietly. You have to learn the art of whispering, even when you are wearing your masks. Let's allow the member who is debating time to debate. After all, they are speaking on behalf of their respective constituencies. And that's what all you members are doing. So let's not interrupt the members or run uh, uh, commentaries when uh, the debate is ongoing. Please, let's be guided accordingly. Honorable member, you may continue. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I think at this juncture, I wish to talk about a fundamental key matter of a campaign promise. Madam Speaker, what I understand is when you promise, it's more or less like it's a contract. It is an assurance that you are going to do what you have promised. Madam Speaker, when I look at this speech, to me, it is a half-baked speech. It is a half-baked speech, Madam Speaker, in the sense that it does not allude or any indication as to how they're going to fulfill the promises. Madam Speaker, you can be aware that we have promised heaven on earth. We have promised heaven on earth that free education is coming. But when you go to page 35, Madam Speaker, 35, which I quote, our administration will provide quality and equitable access to education for all. Where is free education there, Madam Speaker? The people out there are waiting, Madam Speaker, to have an access to free education. The people out there, Madam Speaker, maybe for the matter of reminding our people, the UPND administration, that the things that you have promised, I will go them through so that even if the Minister of Finance, who is going to present the budget here, he should take note that these are the things that the administration has promised us. The first thing, Madam Speaker, is to make a dollar trade between zero and nine quarter. That is a single digit you are talking about. The other thing, Madam Speaker, is to make sure that those 30,000 doctors are employed. Those are the promises that this, this administration has promised. The other thing, Madam Speaker, is to make sure that the presidential jet is sold. Madam Speaker, the president talked about 330 million dollars about the presidential jet. He once stated to say, once Bali comes in the morning, by afternoon when it's sown in, to be selling the jet. Madam Speaker, I've heard another debate. Somebody is saying the presidential jet belongs to Zaf. I don't know when they did the exchange of the ownership. Madam Speaker, we demand that free education is implemented, especially to the people of Nakonde, because this is what has been lacking in Nakonde. Many people in Nakonde are lacking because they don't have money to pay. And they have vowed, Madam Speaker, that come 2022, no one is going to pay for school fees in Inakondi. I thank you, Madam Speaker.
Thank you.